This is Tim from SoundFX Premier in Ormskirk, uh, today with Mark Harley, product specialist for guitars with Boss and Roland. Uh, delighted to have you here, as always. As always, Tim. Um, so we've got an exciting product here that um, is a big need for the mass market. There's a couple of uh, specialist people doing this, but I don't think we're really in the mass market bit, so it's needed someone like Boss to, to bring this out. So. As probably most people have noticed, there's a, a, a very strong demand for individual pedals and people building pedal boards at the moment, and right. that, that really has taken off. I've noticed it over the last sort of you know five to ten years, um, and most people are using uh, pretty inferior patch cables on some very nice boutique. I have done that myself. Yeah, I think everybody's done it. Um, so what we have here from uh, Boss uh, is some kits so you can make up your own patch cables. Uh, so you get some cable. Uh, which you can cut to length, whatever you want. You get some plugs. Uh, and basically you make up either straight or angled uh, cables exactly what you want to fit your pedal board. Um, very highly featured though, these cables, aren't they? Yeah, they're real good quality. Um, you know, the, it's, it's one thing having a, a, patch, a patch cable connector, but it's, uh, it's also another thing that, especially if you're gonna have numerous um, patch cable connectors that they're not going to affect your signal or yeah. your tone, which is really important. And uh, so the cool thing about the uh, the Boss pedal board cable kits is that they are 24 karat gold uh, connectors. 24 karat gold. 24 karat gold connectors. These earrings. Are used in earrings. Earrings. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Valentine's presents sorted. If you get a couple left over. Look at that. There you go. Sorted. <laughs> win. Win. Uh, and you've got really um, low capacitance cable in as well. So again, for the clarity of signal. That's really, really important. Uh, and again, these are really, as everyone knows, with Boss stuff, well put together. Uh, these come with lifetime warranties on them. Um, but I think that for me, and this is what we're going to actually show you, uh, show you now, we're going to show you how easy it is to uh, create, uh, well, basically, cut, cut, connect, connect. Uh, make sure you do test the cable once you've done it, especially if you're putting a board together which features a number of pedals, because you know, you're, gonna, you, you, you're probably going to have in excess of seven, eight. Seven yeah, I think cables. that's an important point. That rather than making up ten patch cables, putting them all together and going, mm, there's one that I didn't make up quite as well. I didn't cut it quite as straight as I needed to. Test each one as you go along, yeah, um, yeah. so you're absolutely sure that you're developing a clear signal as you it, go along. It is also important to make a good point, then, is uh, when you do actually cut the cable, make sure you get as straight as possible uh, cut on it. Um, and then it's, it is as simply as you just actually like, plug the wire or the, the, the cable into the connector uh, and then there's two recessed screws, you just tighten them, test it and then away you go. When you mentioned before about right angled or straight, yeah. it's actually the connector itself. So you've got two options on the connector. You don't have a connector with one's right angle, one's straight. The universal. The they'll, universal. They'll either, so yeah. again, yeah. depending on the way you position your pedals on the board and how you need um, to plug the cable in, you can have a straight or you can have a right angle. Yeah. So let's, um... And if we can just contradict a bit of the boss packaging slightly, I'm allowed to do that. I don't think you are really. But um, <laughs> Mark, Mark just mentioned there in terms of you know cutting and cutting straight. It says on the back to use a pair of scissors. That's probably not the best thing to do. When you use a pair of scissors, the blades meet each other crossways rather than straight on. Uh, so you tend to cut the cable at a slight angle, which doesn't That's give right, for yeah. the best fix. So you want something. Uh, something like this, where they actually meet direct, yeah. as opposed to scissors operating in a so-called yeah, scissor action. Most, I mean, I think most of us have got these little. Um, yeah, some sort of wire clippers. Packs, that sort wire of clippers, thing. yeah. The sharper, and the sharper, the better, yeah, obviously. That's why I use um, them so. so they're there. Also, just running through the cables themselves. So this is they come in various sizes. We haven't got the prices on them yet, but with Boss, they will be competitively priced. But you know, they are a quality product. I'm sure there's some cheap stuff you can get from somewhere, but these will be quality products, as Mark says, with lifetime warranties. So we've got a 24 uh, foot cable on this one with 24 connectors. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got 12 foot cable with spookily 12 connectors. Got a Diddy one there, uh, which this is... is two. This is two oh, that's just a, just a two, two and a little, little foot cable. And then we've got a two foot one as well. So there's, they come in various sizes um, and they're gonna be in the shops fairly soon. So I think without further ado, we should make ourselves a little patch cable. Let's cut some cables. Let's do that. Okay, so we're going to make ourselves a little patch cable. So we've got the uh, essential ingredients, our cutters, um, as mentioned, don't use scissors, uh, some cable, connector, and a teeny weeny little screw that goes in the corner there. Uh, Boss do also provide within the kits a little screwdriver for anybody that hasn't got a screwdriver. I think that's pretty unlikely, but you do need a fairly sharp one. Um, so they make a do-it-yourself 
Boss screwdriver. Right, so you, in your so you, uh, in your shirt. Look, I'll yeah, and then you fall over and stab yourself. So don't recommend that one. Um, <laughs> right. So just select the length of cable you want. Um, just measure in between pedals. As with anything, when you put a signal chain in, the shorter amount of cable you have, the better. Uh, but you don't want the cable dragging or pulling in any way. So just select a length and cut it. Just do a straight, clean cut as possible. Uh, very, very easy to do. Um, and literally just put. The connector and the cable together, just push them in. Uh, this is where the majority of the population will be in good hands, but me having rubbish eyesight, find the end of the little screw, pop it in there. See, even I did that and I'm blind as a bat. Um, and just screw it in. Uh, screw it in nice and tight. And you have one cable on one end. Same the other end, uh, just make sure you have got a clean cut on it, so just maybe just cut it again, just tiny little bit off. Oops, got a little bit of a frayed edge there, let's do that. Plug that one in again. Find which end is the correct screw. So this is something you can, you know, literally do in, in minutes. Um, making up a patch cable it's not it's not difficult at all um, so there you have a diddy patch cable not going to go very far and uh, with the way Tim's done that there yeah, again make sure you test it um, before you plug it onto your board especially if you know but you've got a, it's straight at the moment but if you wanted it to be right angle you can actually see the recessed uh, bit in the connector plug there so if it needs to go in a, 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 like an angle it can go in an angle so yeah just to, yeah you're good to go with that yeah. So there we have it. A bunch of boss cable patches. Perfect. I think exactly what the market's needed. I think they'd be extremely popular um, and should be in the shops very soon. Exactly. Thanks very much, Mark. We're going to look at your pedal board in a moment, and that's got all connected up with these bad boys. So yeah. we'll we'll see how that goes. See you in a bit. Yeah. Cheers, guys.